At the start of the film, we have been shown a village. Here, some people have come to make a documentary film. They wanted to make a story on the priest shaman. So that's why they meet the shaman of this village, whose name is Nim. Nim tells that the people of our village worship everything like mountains, rivers, animals, jungles, and even houses. We believe in two types of gods. One is a good god who does good to people, and the other is a bad god who harms people. Nim tells that our god Bayan is a good god. He has been protecting us for centuries. He chooses a medium from our family every time. Medium means the person through whom Bayan helps people. Entering that individual, God chose me and made me his shaman, medium. I have endured a lot of pain, and now, I work to save people and remove their pain. One day, Nim's elder sister's husband had a heart attack, due to which he died. She tells about her sister's family. The people of her family are killed for some reason. That is, they have a curse, and now her sister has to bear this. Nim goes to her sister's house now because everyone in her sister's family had died. Only her sister and her sister's daughter were left, whose name is Ning. Nim does not like Ning's behavior, because she used to get angry all the time. One night, when Nim called Ning, she was trying to get her attention, but Ning does not answer her. Then Nim's eyes go to Ning, who is constantly staring at a blind old woman. In the morning, everyone sees that the old woman had died. Seeing all this, Nim felt something strange in her sister's daughter Ming. So the next day, she comes back to her sister's house and started to find something in Ming's room. Upon searching, she finds something from Ming's closet that could have been saved from the ghost. Then suddenly Ming came, who had taken all that stuff from her, and tells her to go from here. Seeing all this, Nim asks her sister, what is going on in your house? Tell me, something is wrong. On which her sister replies, nothing. Then she tells Nim to go from there. Now, Nim has returned from her sister's house. The documentation team asks Nim, why was Ming's room filled with stuff that caused ghosts to run? Nim says I don't know anything about this. Nim says that before me, our god had chosen my elder sister for him, but she did not want to be a shaman. That's why she ran away from here. Now we see Ming's mom, who used to sell meat. When the documentary team comes to her and asks, what happened when god chose you to make his shaman? She tells them, after which I always had a headache. I had become very weak. When I refused to be a shaman and ran away from there, and chose Christianity, then I was completely fine. Now the documentary team asks, if God chose your daughter Ming the next medium after Nim, then what will you do? On which Ming's mom was angry, and she tells the team to go from there. Now we see Ming, whose childish actions were increasing. Ming drinks a lot and sleeps in her office, where she used to work. When it was morning, the people in the office woke her up, but her condition was very bad, she was bleeding a lot. When Ming goes to her house in this condition, her mom was also worried to see her in such a condition. When Ming's mom talks to her brother, and tells him everything, her brother says, I think all this is happening with Ming. Because our God wants to choose her as his next medium, you should give her permission for this. There, Ming's boss also threw her out of the office, because Ming, on a daily basis, after the office was closed, went there and did the wrong things. The boss comes to know about it from the camera recording. Ming was also very tired of all these things. One day, Ming also tries to kill herself, but soon her mom saw her and saved her, and brought her to the hospital. When Nim comes to meet Ming in the hospital, Nim's sister tells her that everything is happening with Ming, that happened to you and me when our god, chose us as his medium to make us shaman. After hearing all this, Nim says, no, this is not the soul of Bai Yan god, but some evil power who has taken over our Ming. To find out more about all this, Nim goes to her sister's house again. So she comes there and finds out one more thing. At the film started, we've been told that Nim's family members were killed for no reason. Nim finds out that the death of her sister's son, was not due to an accident, but he took his own life. Now she goes to the place, where her sister's son killed herself. She goes to that place and calls him soul and asks why are you bothering your sister. But she does not get any answer from there. That's when Nim starts doing ritual magic there. On the other hand, Nim's sister takes her daughter Ming, to the priest and starts making her worshipping. That's when Nim came there, who stopped everything and said, you know what you were going to do. Seeing all this, Ming was angry. She runs away from there. God knows where she ran away. Everyone looks for her a lot, but she is nowhere to be found. After that, Ming's mother takes her brother to the police station to file her report. Nim tells her sister, that she rejected Bai Yan God, and chose Christianity for herself. So maybe our God is angry with you. You should apologize to him, which can fix everything. 
Maybe your daughter will be fine. Nim's sister listens to her and apologizes to God. Now Nim goes back to look for Ming's room, where she found a lot of dirty stuff. And because of this, Ming's mind was under the control of evil powers. Now, after taking the whole stuff, Nim does ritual magic at the same place where her sister's son killed himself. On the other hand, the police tell Ming's mother that Ming had run and booked a cab and told her to leave herself in a deserted jungle. When the driver of the car left her, Ming was seen everywhere at that place. And all this was recorded in the camera of that car. One day, Nim talks to Ming's brother's soul, who tells her that he has no hand behind all this. He also tells her where his sister Ming will be right now. When Nim goes to the given address, she sees a deserted house in the middle of the jungle. When she goes inside the house, she finds Ming unconscious in a bad condition. She quickly brought her to the hospital, and then goes to her god to pray for her, where Nim finds out that the head of their god's statue was separate from the body. After seeing all this, Nim goes back to her sister's house, and asks the dark force inside Ming, that who are you and where have you come from? To which Ming replies that you are shaman, find out by yourself that who I am. After seeing all this, Nim now takes her to her master priest, so that he can treat her and tell them, what is inside Ming. The master priest tells them that there are many souls inside Ming. And not only humans but also animals. For this, we will have to do a very big ritual, through which we can capture all those souls. And we will do this at the same place, where you found Ming painted. Ming's mother asks her why is all this happening to us. The master tells that your husband's descendants, had removed the necks of many innocent people. And on top of that, you rejected Ba Yan God, and married the person who had a curse on the whole family. And now the effect of all these things is clearly visible on your daughter. Nim explains to her sister that we have to do something. Ming's mother was telling all this to the documentary team. She goes on to say that when I wake up in the morning, my whole house is scattered. Everything is separate from its place. Now to know about all this, what used to happen at night? The documentary team puts the cameras in Ming's house. They found out from the camera, that everything was done by Ming. They see that she eats raw meat from the fridge. One night, Ming took her mother's brother's child, and took him to the fields. But soon they found the child lying down. Then suddenly Ming comes, and attacks her mother's brother with a knife. Then the cameraman and his mother, come here and save their brother. Many days pass like this. Nim also did not come to meet her sister. When Nim's sister goes to her house and sees, and she sees Ming dead on the bed. After that, Nim's funeral is done. Nim's sister asks the master priest how Nim died suddenly. But the master priest says that, I do not know anything about this. No one knows the secret of Nim's death. Then the master priest says that the day we decided to perform the ritual, and we will have to do this ritual. Now, the ritual starts in the same deserted house. They had to burn all the souls in a pot. And they have to imprison Ming in her house. Until the ritual is over, they write something on the door of her room and stick it. So that she can't open the door. And the rest of the people are also forbidden to open the door. No matter in which condition Ming is. On the other hand, the ritual was being done. All the souls inside Ming's mother are called, and imprisoned in a pot. While there, from Ming's room in the house, was the sound of a child crying. The cameraman explains a lot to his mother's brother's wife that your child is not inside, he is outside, he is safe. But she doesn't listen to a word and opens the door. Then Ming came and attacked him. She kills her. This means that it was just a trick of those souls, that are inside Ming. Now she had come out. When the ritual was over, and the souls were being imprisoned, and were taken to a pot. They also fall down the stairs, because of which they also died. And that pot also breaks, by which all the souls had been freed again. Now those souls go inside all those people, who were doing the ritual with the master. There a man also kills the cameraman, and devours him quickly. On the other hand, Ming was also freed now. The dangerous souls inside her, devour her mother's brother's child alive. And then Ming also killed that cameraman who was in her house. At the place of the ritual, Ming's mother, also started laughing loudly. And she tells her brother that I have got the sign of Ban Yan God. I will fix everything. By putting many fireflies upside down, she starts reading something. By which all the people there had gone crazy. And they start killing each other. Then Ming also came here. Her mother puts her hand on her daughter's head and asks, Who are you and why are you behind my daughter? Then Ming's voice comes from inside, that no one will survive. She had also burned her mother alive with oil. Now only the cameraman, who was recording this documentary was left. Ming also kills him, because of which his camera had fallen down. According to the last recorded video in his camera, we are shown that when Nim was worshipping Bai Yan. 
she had suddenly dropped the plate. When the cameraman asks what happened, then she tells him that I think Ba Yan is not with her now. Because I am helping a cursed family, and that family which had left by rejecting Ba Yan God. Because she had known, he had gone after being angry. She found the broken idol. Nim had known that a lot was going to go wrong. Now she cannot help anyone. That's why she ate something and gave her life. And with this horror ending, the story of this film also ends here.